On all my social media accounts, many people are confused with the giant paper art I make, with one question surfacing the most, that being why, or why are you doing this? And therefore, I'm going to explain why I make these massive cutouts alongside Anime Girl Insane Asylums and anything else I make. This video is going to be the most candid video I've ever made, as I talk about my philosophy on being yourself and clarify what I get out of it and my vision is in the future. But first I'll talk about the more obvious point, which is that I find what I make cool. Generally, the type of content I make is the type of content I would want to see if I wasn't myself. Like, the idea of giant anime cutouts existing is so cool to me. I personally like the field of craft I'm in, especially since it's so surreal, since, like, rather than looking at something like a drawing or a painting, or even playing a video game and seeing the world it portrays through a screen, with some of the things that I make, it's almost like you are instead in that world and someone grabbed you through the screen and pulled you in. And that part I really enjoy about what I make. Like, some of the rooms that I've made look straight up like you're in a game walking through a map with a modded texture, or it feels like I'm looking at a real life next spot. So overall, like the feeling of surrealty I get from what I make is all very cool, as it's like I have my own little museum. And that's really the value that I get out of it, and why I do it. The second reason is because I'm a content creator. I want to make better things than what I'm doing currently now. Some of my creative goals I have currently is to make a cutout that's over 100 feet standing, to create giant 30 foot tall paper models just like this but up scaled, and yes, the giant cutout of Speedwagon that I've been planning for like two years now. So I do what I do because I have ambitions to make cooler things by growing on social media. I bring this up as one of my points because I do think that a lot of people think I'm just doing this for laughs and giggles, and while that is true, my goal also in the future is to have what I make be able to pay for a lot of the bigger projects I want to make in the future. Whether it's more paper stuff or even like a game eventually I want to make years down the line. But I think because of how strange and unhinged the stuff I make looks, it's hard to imagine that I have aspirations as I feel people think I'm just mentally deranged and that's all. Which I can't really blame considering if you look at this picture, I do not think this is what a normal sane person's house looks like. But the third reason is just my philosophy on being yourself. I post the things that I do because I simply want to, and I'm not really afraid to showcase a side of myself which could be seen as embarrassing, as not posting these things would mean people not knowing who I truly am, and doing that is exhausting, being something that you're not, and never letting your creative urges out. As it's just very freeing, as I feel many people are scared of looking weird by being who they really are, and when you do that, your soul suffers as you're not living the way that your heart wants to be. Why I also do my art is because I like genuineness. All the posts that I make in a way can be seen as vulnerable, as it's easy to make fun of what I post. However, showcasing this side of me is also what makes me feel alive as I'm no longer hiding my true self, and therefore can be much more candid with people I meet as chances are they will or already know that I'm a crazy art waifu person and don't have to pretend that I don't do strange things or think what if they think of me differently if they knew when talking to to someone and therefore it's good cuz like it's more of a genuine interaction if they know more of who I truly am I don't have to put up a facade as it's really hard to have a moment feel meaningful if you're being fake and not speaking with your heart and being honest now, of course, I wouldn't go to an in-and-out drive-thru and say, before you talk to me, it's a requirement that you know the existence of the Hololive room and what a deranged anime nutjob I am, or else this conversation is meaningless. But for the type of people you see more often, I'm the type who likes being open and dislikes small talk when it's not really needed, so it helps in being yourself. So in summary, I like making what I make just because I can't be anyone else other than me and enjoy what I make because it's cool, and have long-term goals to make even cooler things in the future via making stuff currently to be able to fund my future ideas, but that's pretty much it. Goodbye then.